I and agree. Be, like I think that's dangerous. I I, agree. And I think I think we have in the same way that porno is a big problem. Like I think we're going to go into very weird spaces there. Um, so do I think there's risks here? I do think there are risks. I don't think the risks are. I, another way to say this. Computers are not a good place to get the source of the truth because we all have different interpretations of the truth. What happens when they start interpreting it and defining what the truth is, though? I, we, I, I don't. I think that product sucks. Like I use LLMs I hope all you're the right, time. By the way. I use products all the time. I use LLMs for research all the time, and they they help me find things, and then I go and make sure that it's real, mm -hmm. right? But it's like I I don't think that whether it's my recollection or what's the truth, I don't think that's going to be the actual interface that. It's killer here. What so I think is gonna okay, go ahead. what is gonna be amazing, and it's it's happening, is using the LLM to take a lot of friction off of things yes. we're doing all the time, right? Like you're gonna have experiences on your phone or in software on the computer, whatever in your life, where the predictions are much better, sure, because it understands you. And like, I think we're gonna see existing industries just get much, much, much better, be less wasteful, be more be more uh, personalized. And I think there's a huge amount of value there. I also think in the same way that Eric talked to you, or I think he talked to you about drones and how they are totally democratizing violence in a whole way that we can't imagine, right? Yeah, I saw it too. Yeah, and he, like that's serious. Guys, LLMs are the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's so much risk with criminal enterprises using LLMs and this publicly available data to find people. This, get ready. Like this publicly available data and an LLM, you can basically pick who your targets are. Like show me the people who go to these places. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. So now when you see this guy's loaded, but he's going to that strip joint, that would be a perfect guy to lean on. You know what I mean? Like. LLMs are going to make that possible, you know? It sounds like you are less concerned, look, if I'm looking farther down the road right now at, you know, I'm going to make up some years here, 30 years from now, the world being controlled knowingly or unknowingly by an AI that's sentient. Um, do I think the world will be controlled by them? Okay. I think there is a, I think there is a real risk. You, you have brought up as a counterpoint to freedom and independence, convenience, okay? Yep. Okay, which is a wise observation. Yep. That is a counter for, that is a, a, a opposing force. I believe the real risk, and Adam Curry and John Dvorak talk about this all the time on their, on their show, which is awesome. Uh, I think there's a real risk of a meaningful portion of people building relationships with these things. I and agree. Be, like, I think that's dangerous. I I, and I think, I think we have, in the same way that porno is a big problem, like I think we're gonna go into very weird spaces there. Um, so do I think there's risks here? I do think there are risks. I don't think the risks are Terminator, Judgment Day, um, personally. I Certainly, I'm not blind. If we start using software like this in defense areas, at, you know, obviously a mistake could get made. I, that's You can imagine that. But big picture, I feel like we kind of adapt to things pretty well. My concern with LLMs is the following. I think it's an incredible horsepower. I think we're going to make incredible, we're working on incredible things using LLMs locally. Great. Um, I think that they accelerate the risk of dystopia. I don't think it's like overlord AI. I think it's evil people using AI to control other people. And what do I mean by control other people? LLMs make it much easier to, for example, understand who goes to a church or a mosque or right. this or that or this or that. It makes it much easier to group and profile people. Um, it makes it much easier to spoof people. Um, yes. So I'm, you know, I, I think that it's going to be an accelerating technology like we've had for thousands of years. We've been through these cycles and we're going to see some ca catastrophes. We're going to see some total injustice. We're also going to see some incredible inventions that happen. I think this is an incredibly perfect time to be innovating. Um, but I think a lot of what we're seeing in terms of like, you know, a lot of what we're hearing, I think we need to remember this when we, oh, we need more, you know, 500 times the power to build, blah, blah, blah. it's like, we're basically hearing their pitch to take their pump company public, you know what I mean? Like, And I'm not saying that everything they're saying is wrong, and I, I we certainly will need more power, but I think a lot of what we're hearing is... Um, Cluster. Yeah, and it's like, bro, it's like, look, listen, cars, amazing technology. They're kind of the same. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I see what you're saying. You know, it's like yeah. I, my, my wife has a car, drives herself. You know, it's amazing, right? But it's still like four wheels with a fucking door. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like place to place. Yeah, and I, I feel like our form factor is going to be here for a while. I don't think we're around the corner from like glasses. And I've spent a lot of time in this space. And I think there's some great innovation happening there. I also, this gets back up. So I'm talking about the structural limitations. Then there's the experiential stuff. One of the great observations was a guy named Masahiro Mori, who is a roboticist who discovered this concept of uncanny valley. I'm familiar, yeah. So it's like robots are interesting when they're not too human, and then when they get human, they get threatening. This is very important, that the reaction, the cross-cultural reaction to the humanoid robot is not, it's weird, it's I feel threatened. And cross-culturally, he got this feedback of zombie, living dead, some part of our brain, by the way, this is a deep part of our brain is programmed to notice people with who might bring a disease or something. They're not from our community. We're designed to protect our little village, right? That part of our brain, the bells are going off when we see a robot that looks too human. This, this is a big, my original business before I got into tech was in computer human animation and motion capture. This is a big factor when you're talking about animation and showing people content that looks like people, right? I think this same issue is going to be very relevant in the future applications of LLMs. So this notion of like the AI is in charge of us, I don't, I, I think that we're gonna prefer to be in control of a lot of our interfaces more than um, you know, having a disembodied voice controlling things for us. I think that there's like basic human issues here that are gonna, now, there are gonna be some people who fall in love with these things and develop yeah, religion. I think there's gonna whole... be, I think we're gonna have weird spiritual things happen here. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that's very, very strange what can happen there, but um, I don't know. I think we're probably interfacing with things like this for a while. Um, I think, wh why? This allows me to like turn it over. Sure. You know, I think people wearing glasses, like that's gonna be fucking weird. No one's gonna want to be I have them. no interest in them. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I, I, I don't even have the slightest like, oh, maybe I'll get, I, I, I don't care. I don't want it. You know, I, I kinda, this is enough for me right here. So. I mean, what the, this form factor is a very effective and convenient enter, exit, enter, exit. You know what I mean? Like it's the glasses, like not knowing if someone else what yeah, they're doing. It, it's yeah. just, so that's that's why I'm raising the robot thing. Is like that issue is gonna happen with these glasses. I'm like, are you what the fuck? Are yeah. you photographing me? Are you not? It's yeah. just weird. It's like this you have the world at your fingertips and like we understand sure. that it's down and whatever, you know? Joe, it's been awesome today, man. Thanks, I, I appreciate you going through a lot of different things. Your time at Apple is obviously fascinating answering some hard questions about your phone too i think the i and and i hope this is true as well you, you seem very genuine but the intentions here are great you know so people out there are we're all giving up our data like crazy on these other phones right now anyway so that might be a benefit no matter what to go and to use that so we will have the link to unplug down below people could check that out they could check out all the permutations you guys ran as well to test all this stuff we'll have that down there and then any other links you want to give me we'll do that as well and we'll uh continue this conversation as you guys move along julian thank you brother all right all right god you. bless man everybody else you know what it is give it a thought get back to me peace thank you guys for checking out this clip if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and hit the like button on this video it is a huge huge help and if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode that link is in the description below or right here and finally you can follow me on instagram and x by using the links in my description below